of creating a distribution board. What happened was that in, there was a situation where we came up with, first we made a, a project using spark plugs and a, light, a bulb to light up using spark plugs. So we thought of, Lord, let's try out our project, let's try it out. So what happened while we were trying out our project, we had a power cut in our house and the breakers got burnt. When we went to go check on our spark plugs, we found that they also ran out of power. So we thought, okay, so they can't sustain power for a much lo for, a, uh, for a longer period of time. So we said, okay, let's try to creating another project using the same breakers. So we sat down with my friends and started thinking about how we can how to help and how to help us pupils with education with school. So we said, okay, let's make a distribution board. So distribution board, we started thinking of how we are going to make it and how we are going to get the power from. We designed this project, the distribution groups and the plants we use it since the installation tape, the cables, the 2.5 copper wire, which will, which 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 was used to the to the to the bulb, and the 3.5 wire which was used to the to the socket to, to charge the phone and others. The insulation tape was used when making connection, wiring connection, because we can't we can't leave them naked because it might cause sparks. We use the T junction whereby the copper wire is going for for the bulb socket and the other copper wire is going for the for the socket for the sockets. As you can see behind me is a distribution board that I and my friends made. It is used to preserve electricity. We are going to take it in the community for you to see how it is used uh, by charging phones and lighting up bulbs in the, in the houses. You can use it uh, when there are power cuts in the houses for studying, especially us learners. 